Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I work for HowToBecome.com. Welcome to this video for working as a scientist. Now this video will give you some um, scientist job roles and different ways you can become a scientist. So have you ever wondered how to become a scientist? Well, the type of job on offer to anyone wishing to follow a career in science will depend partly on the chosen field and also how that person wants to use their scientific knowledge and experience. However, it should be noted that in many organisations, the opportunities to use science in the workplace often decrease as one rises within that organisation. Very often, to gain promotion within a particular organisation or company, a scientist becomes more involved in the managerial side of the business, resulting in doing less practical science. So the kinds of scientific jobs available will depend on whether you want to apply your scientific knowledge and training in a particular manner or use it in a theoretical way. Quite often some of the jobs described below overlap as scientists who become experts in their field are called upon to act as editors, advisors etc. Alternatively there is always a demand for science teachers either in schools, colleges or universities. In many instances working Working in academia allows a scientist to combine both teaching and research. So the different routes into science. So if you are wondering about how to become a scientist, probably the first step to choosing the right kind of job to suit you is to decide which branch of science you are most interested in. Some scientist jobs and careers are advertised on the Royal Society of Chemistry website. Often this decision is a gradual process which starts at a young age and is determined by the choices made during your educational career. However, some people may come to a science career as a result of a conscious de uh, decision to do something different. Irrespective of why you choose a career in science, identifying the type of job you want to do is likely to be driven more by your interest in the subject and how you want to use your knowledge and experience rather than the rewards on offer. So the following job sectors will give you a better understanding of the options available to you for working as a scientist. So first of all, we've got a research scientist. So jobs in this area are often found in universities, large companies, central government, or the health service and allied sectors. Research scientists may be employed on a permanent basis, but typically their posts will be dependent on funding for a particular project. So scientists who choose a career in research may begin their working life as a laboratory assistant or technician who tends to be responsible for carrying out much of the routine day-to-day -day work. However, depending on your experience and or levels of qualification, scientists entering research may be in a position where they are more involved in the planning and managing of research projects. The sorts of research projects that are commonly undertaken in in the um, industry include those looking at ways to improve existing products or develop new ones. Research in the health sector may be carried out by central government, universities or charitable organisations and often includes trying to find out the causes behind particular diseases and conditions as well as, as looking at cures for them. Other researchers may also be trying to develop new analytical methods which can be applied in other scientific areas. So next we've got the quality assurers. So many industries will rely heavily on a quality assurance system of some description to ensure that the products that they are producing are of a consistently high quality and meet the legal requirements relative to that product. Quality assurance or control scientists are usually involved in the routine examination of ingredients and products involved in the manufacturing process. Two of the main areas where quality assurance is important are the food and pharmaceutical industries. The food industry offers scientists such as chemists, food technologists and microbiologists a role in quality assurance control where chemists and pharmacists are often employed in the pharmaceutical industry in this role. There will also be opportunities for people with a scientific background in the quality assurance of other manufacturing industries such as the automotive and chemical manufacturing industries. 
So scientific research, so the analytical side. So although many analytical te techniques are involved in quality assurance, other scientists may use these techniques in a more investigative role. Many laboratories, such as public analysts and some government departments, carry out work looking at the com composition of materials, whether products meet the requirements laid down in manufacturing and safety standards, or if they meet other legal requirements. The types of scientists commonly employed in these roles include microbiologists, chemists, materials and scientists, and um, phys physicists. So if you would like more information on becoming a scientist, including more types of job sectors, then you can click now for more information. So hopefully you have found something in this video really useful. And if you have, don't forget to give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's a whole host of um, job videos that you can um, check out if you're unsure about what job you would like to do. If you do have any questions or queries, then you can feel free to drop me a message below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So the link for finding out more information is also posted in the description box below this video. So be sure to check that out because there's a whole host of more job sectors for becoming a scientist. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching everyone and I wish you all the very best.